Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Joe Nemeth. I am a periodontist in Southfield, Michigan, and I thought we could talk about celebrity smiles. Great ones, and maybe not always so great. So here's the first one, which is kind of interesting. And this is, of course, a guy named Tom Cruise. You may have heard of him. And this is his smile. And do you notice something about his smile that could be better? Despite it, he's been successful. I don't know how, but he has been. So if you look at the smile here, you can see this is uneven. So th this left side looks great, but this right side, particularly, particularly this central incisor here, doesn't look great. And I think if he had some crown lengthening done, and this gum was reshaped so that the tooth was longer, he would have a more pleasing smile. Smile is important, but you know, it's not the only thing. He's very talented, obviously. And I would definitely do something with that if I were gonna to try to create the best smile possible by reshaping the gum tissue and then having a new crown put on. And this is Gwen Stefani. I have never heard of Gwen Stefani. Everybody else in the world has heard of Gwen Stefani, but you know, the name is sort of vaguely familiar. But anyway, it's an interesting situation because she has what's called a gummy, gummy smile. How do we correct that and how is it probably corrected here? Two things. We do something called crown lengthening so that we sculpt the gum tissue so that more of the tooth shows and less of the gum shows. We also do something called lip lowering. Now if you notice here, her upper lip is rather thin and pulls way back. In this photo, her upper lip is thicker and doesn't pull way back. And these teeth are looking longer. Crown lengthening, reshaping the teeth to expose more tooth and less gum, along with lip lowering to bring that lip down. And when you do lip lowering, at least when I do lip lowering, the lip tends to fill out more, which also gives a more pleasing appearance. So this, I'm not sure if that's what was done, but if I had a case like this, that's probably what I would recommend. And then possibly veneers or crowns, and now she is beautiful and her smile is beautiful. This guy's got a few dollars. Last I heard, he was the wealthiest man in the world, but I think he's actually second to some guy in France right now. <laughs> but he can afford, of course, anything he wants. And here was his smile prior to anything being done. I'm not sure that he needed much gum work, but obviously this had to be closed. So he had this gap closed probably could have been a combination of orthodontics or Invisalign and veneers. So he went from this smile, which is kind of, you know, a little bit on the goofy side, to this smile, which is a huge improvement, and he's got a great smile now. This is a really interesting case. This was Nicolas Cage before. If you look, his smile was far from great. He has a space between the teeth, and he's got this swollen gum tissue that sticks out between the teeth. It's a very uncosmetic, unappealing smile. So this is Nicholas now. I'm sure what was done was he had some reshaping of the gum done so that he wasn't having this excess gum tissue sticking out between the teeth, and then he had veneers, I have to assume veneers, or crowns put on. And what a difference it can make by reshaping the gum and then reshaping the teeth with crowns or veneers. So it's not just putting crowns or veneers on the teeth. It's also a matter of the gum line, which is incredibly important to having the kind of smile you'd like to have. And of course we do a lot of that here. Here's a lady who I have always had a crush on, Nicole Kidman. I actually didn't realize that Nicole had this kind of a smile 
in her earlier years. And as you can see, she has much too much gum tissue showing. And, you know, the teeth are, are okay. But what I'm sure was done, at least I would have done, I would have done crown lengthening to reshape this gum tissue and then crowns or veneers to give those teeth the proper look. So if you look closely, for instance, if you look at this tooth and you look at it here, you can see that the tooth is longer. Well, the only way they could get that tooth looking longer, or the main way, would be by what's called crown lengthening, so that she can have the beautiful smile that they could then create with crowns or veneers. This is Ronaldo. I'm not a sports fan, so when someone said Ronaldo, I said, well, who is Ronaldo? Someone said, well, he's the highest paid sports player in the world. I guess he's a soccer player, and probably you all know who he is. Well, I don't necessarily know who he is, except now I do. So, <laughs> this is cute. This was, Rena this was Ronaldo before anything was done. So he had a gap here, had a gummy smile, and kind of a goofy look. So very possibly had some crown lengthening, probably had an implant, probably had these teeth moved a little bit so he could have an implant here because this tooth is missing. It's called the eye tooth, it's called the lateral incisor. It's here, but it's not here. So they could open up that space a bit and probably put an implant in that area. So between correcting the gummy smile and putting in an implant, he's the man that I would like to look like. But I don't think it's going to happen in my lifetime. At any rate, we just wanted to show you a little bit about celebrity smiles, what it takes to achieve a celebrity smile, and sometimes there are other things that are necessary also, but it's not just a matter of crowns or veneers or whitening the teeth. Those things may be important, but the gum line is very, very important. With the right gum line and then the proper restoration, if necessary, and sometimes that's not even necessary, one can have a very attractive, beautiful smile. Let's call it a celebrity smile. At any rate, I thought this might be interesting for you. It certainly was interesting for me to see these celebrities. Remember, most importantly, have a healthy mouth. Make sure your mouth is healthy because if your mouth is not healthy, you cannot be as healthy as you otherwise could be. Otherwise, we'd love to hear from you. Questions, comments, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a really good day. Restore your smile and your health. Visit drnemoth.com to schedule your appointment today.